Hello friends, we must have all encountered files with uh, non-English characters like Chinese, Latin uh, or any other native languages uh, which needs to be loaded into a SQL Server table. So uh, what I have here is, is a very small short demo of loading a UTF file which contains Chinese characters. Let's see how tricky can it be. So this is going to be a very quick session on, on loading this data. If you can see the, I've used Notepad++ to show the encoding. You can see the encoding for this is UTF-8 and the data is it has simple simple employee data with employee ID name and their native names in Chinese and their salary. Uh, the delimiter is, is, a, is a line feed. That's all we got. We got to load this into, the, into a SQL Server table and the table schema looks precisely in sync with this file. So what we have here is the native name and to accommodate native name we have to use unicoded column type so we are using nvarchar20 as the column definition for loading this data now let's try to quickly you know uh, build the package and load this data for us so without further ado, ado I just I'm just going to uh, start working cool so let me just pull out a DFT and then let me use a flat file source and then a new connection we connect it to employee table that's our connection manager let's change to the line feed and we say the text qualifier is as you can see it's a semi it's, it's a inverted comma so we move on yeah it looks good it looks good in the advanced we just need to change this to unicoded because this is string this is a non unicoded value we just need to use a unicoded string type so employee id let me update the data type to int 4 byte salary also let's use 4 byte int and then for the name it's all good we can further use it 20 let's just see if we can use it 20 that's okay that's alright so that's our source uh, next let's pull out the ODDB destination uh, okay so map it let's see new okay and let's map it to employee table do the mappings employee id employee name native name salary that's all but we have an error so to see the error if you hover your mouse you can see it is it says it is cannot be processed because it has more than one code pages so along with the utf you can see it's 1052 as well so to overcome this Go to properties, always default code page to true, and then let's use the UDF code page format. And it's still so showing you the error, right? So let's open it. Employee ID. It says employee ID. Did we? Oh, yes, so we have. Let me remove this and then because it was of int, so cool. Now let's run this package. And now if we check the table contains all your data in the precise format that you want to so this is a very quick blog on load loading UDF files thank you friends